so let's deep dive into this topic called consciousness like we can think about thinking that is consciousness and it's turn out it one of the biggest mystery in the science and philosophy it's crazy right you can imagine we have got their super smart scientists and philosopher who have been scratching their head for century trying to figure out how our brain create this whole experience of being aware for this even with all our fancy brain scanner and technology we still don't fully understand it it's like how does this lump of meat in our skull create our entire subjective experience mind boggling stuff right but here is where it get really interesting this is not just some nerdy science question it is about the nature of reality itself who we are and our place in the universe like do we really have free will what makes you you is there different between our mind and our brain heavy stuff but also kind of awesome to think about it right now in the last few decades scientists have been going hard on the consciousness puzzle they have got the cool brain imaging technique and computer model and they have coming up with some wild theory they are making progress but there is still so much we don't know it's like trying to solve a jigsaw puzzle where half the piece are invisible so let me break down some of the cool stuff they have figured out so far first up they have trying to map out which part of the brain are involved in consciousness it is not just one spot it's like a whole network of brain region working together there is these things called the thalamus that is like a relay station for sensory information and is work for the cortex especially this network called the front operatorial network it's like the brain command center for attention and working memory then there is the visual cortex which light up when we are constantly seeing stuff and get this there is a network in our brain there is active when you are just chilling and thinking about ourselves they call it the default mode network but there is where it get really trippy they found the consciousness is not just about which part of the brain are active but how they communicate with each other there is these things called gamma band synchronization which is like different part of the brain uh, sensing up sensing up their activity and a specific frequency it's like the brain own wifi network connecting all the different parts now let me tell you about some of the wild theory scientists have come up with to explain consciousness there is this one called the dynamic core hypothesis basically it says consciousness come from the constantly changing group of neuron in the brain that are all talking to each other super fast it is like a executive club in your brain where only the coolest neurons get to hang out and that club is your conscious experience then there is the global works of theory then there is global work space theory this one says consciousness is like a brain wide broadcast Imagine your brain as a huge office building with different department handling different tasks. Consciousness is like a company wide email that goes out to the everyone sharing in the most important information. But wait, it gets even crazier. There is this theory called integrated information theory that says consciousness might be a fundamental property of the universe like gravity or electromagnetism it's not just something our brain do anything that integrate information in the right way could be conscious even the thermostat might have a tiny bit of consciousness according to this theory isn't wild right some other scientists thinks consciousness happen when our brain form thoughts about its own thoughts it's like your brain is constantly taking selfie of its own activity and those selfie are what we experience as a consciousness and then there is this new idea that consciousness might be 
all about prediction like our brain is constantly trying to guess what going to happen next and consciousness is just our brain best guess about what's going on it's like we are all living in the in a simulation but the simulation is created by our own brains now let me tell you about some of the cool experiment scientists are doing to study consciousness they have got this brain scanner that can see which part of our brain light up when we are conscious of something they can even predict what you are seeing just by looking at your brain activity it's like mind reading but with the science they have also got this trick to mess with your consciousness like they can they can show you image to quickly that you don't consciously see them but your brain is still process them or they can make they can make you two different image with each eye and your conscious perception will flip back and forth between them it's like your brain is a dj mixing different track of the reality now there is even a studying consciousness in a people who are in coma or vegetative states they have found that some patient who seem constantly unresponsive might actually be conscious inside they have developed way to communicate with this patient using brain scan it's like finding a person trapped inside a, a statue but it's not just about the human scientists are looking a consciousness in animal too they have found evidence that some animal like chimps and maybe even crows might have some form of self awareness and octopuses these guys are so smart and weird that they have making us rethink what consciousness even is oh and there is also building computer model for consciousness like they are trying to create artificial brain that might become conscious it's some real sci-fi stuff but it's actually happening in live right now but here is the things even with all this cool research there are still some huge debate going on like there is these things called hard problem of consciousness it is the idea that no matter how well we understand the brain we might never be able to explain why we have subjective experience like why does seeing the color red feel like anything at all some people think this is unsolvable problem while other think we just need to keep sciencing harder there is also this question about whether consciousness is all or nothing or if it comes in the degrees like are you either conscious or not or can you be little bit conscious this get really important when we start thinking about things like artificial intelligence or animals how conscious does something need to be before you give it right and then there is the whole question of free will like our consciousness is just the result of brain activity and the our brain activity determined by physics do we really make our own decision or are we just along for the ride it's kinds of question that can keep you up at night if you think about it too much but here is where it get really exciting understanding consciousness is not just about satisfying our curiosity it could have huge implication for well everything like if you figure out consciousness it could be change how we think about animal rights or how we treat patient in vegetative states it could be lead to new treatment or mental health issues or new ways to in- induce alter state of consciousness and don't even get me started on artificial intelligence if we create ai that are conscious what right should they have could they be more conscious than us it's like we are on the verge of creating a whole new form of life so looking to the future scientists have got some pretty wild plan they are working on the way to measure consciousness more precisely maybe even coming up with a consciousness meter they are looking into whether quantum effect in the brain might have 
something to do with consciousness they are studying how consciousness develop in baby and kids some researchers are even looking into altered states of consciousness like what happened during meditation or even you take a psychedelic substance they are trying to combine insight from the eastern tradition with the modern western science it's like a mess up of thousand of years of human thought in the end this whole consciousness thing is one of the biggest mysterious out there we have made a ton of progress but we have still got so many questions it's like we are explorers mapping out a new continent but this continent is inside our own heads and here is really cool part as we unravel this mystery we are not just learning about our brain we are learning about the nature of reality itself like what does it even means to exist heavy stuff right i know but also kinds of awesome so yeah that's the deal with the consciousness it's a huge mind bending puzzle that touches on everything from the neuroscience to philosophy to maybe even the meaning of life and the best part we are right in the middle of trying to solve it who knows what we'll discover next anyways so what do you guys think does it blow your mind and as much as it mine so please give your point view on the comment section and, and thank you for watching and see you in the next video